Hi, this is Jonathan uh, in Everything Edible Landscaping. I want to show you how to customize the 13 month calendar. So uh, you can download it with this link in the video description that's on YouTube about the 13 month calendar. And then once you've downloaded it, you need to open it with LibreOffice. If you do a Google search for LibreOffice, you'll be able to find their download page. So download that and install it on your computer. It can go on Mac or Windows or Linux. Then open the downloaded file, 13 month calendar template. You may have to enable macros. Okay, then you're going to get this spreadsheet and at the bottom it shows um, a bunch of different tabs. So it's starting on month one and you can click on the tabs to see the different parts of the calendar. So <coughs> all of this stuff can be edited. You can uh, click on that and delete it if you want or change it. And then the same with the pictures. If you want to delete this picture, you can click on it, delete it, and add your own picture. Uh, somebody was asking about deleting this logo here, this business card. You can't just delete the card, you'd have to put your own picture. But if you wanted to put your own card over top of that, uh, you can go ahead and do it. And you can still keep you know, this image in the background. So I'll explain to you a little bit about how this works. Um, Pre-calendar year solar events and then calendar year solar events. These are data that come from a website. So every year I go to that website and I update these data. And then these are some instructions I've written to myself to help me remember how to do that. What data needs to be up, up, updated every year. And then this sheet is doing some uh, <coughs> reformatting of that data. And then this sheet here has put all of that data into a human-friendly readable version. And then each one of these uh, <coughs> cells here has different formulas. So you can see this formula is just talking about what the Gregorian date is. And these cells are <coughs> formulas that are doing the same thing based on the cell before. And then down here this cell and this cell and this cell are performing searches on these list of criteria to try and figure out what they should say here. So for example this one actually says something. If I double click that you can see what it's looking for and where it's looking. So it's looking at these data here. So I think the most interesting thing for you is to um, use these tabs, the numbered ones, so that you can change this. And, uh, and then once you've changed that, you've got a calendar that you'd like to share with your friends and family. Then you go to File export as PDF. Then you can export that into a PDF file and share it with uh, all of your relationships. Okay. Good luck with that. If you have any questions, you can let me know.